Hey guys, welcome back to Anchor Shadow Gaming. Today we are playing Saddle Club Willowbrook Stables. We're on day two. Day two of the game. Um, I have been feeding my horse off screen and- Lisa, oh. there you are, dear. How did your meeting go with the property developers? Not too well. I don't have much more time to raise the money. It looks like I'm going to lose the stables. There must be something we can do. Well, after our chat the other day, I began thinking about my late husband, Jack. I started to look through some old boxes of his things. I found something interesting. Jack used to work down in the mine on the island with Frank Foster, Tom Smith and Peter Adams. He always kept a journal of his work down there. He was always writing in that thing. Well, I came across some loose pages from it. Some pages I'd never seen before. I read them over. Something about gold. I found it a bit confusing, really. Jack never spoke about any of this. I thought perhaps you could have a read. Maybe there's something in them. Maybe something that could help save the stables. Oh, of course. I'll have a look. I'll read the pages carefully and maybe do some investigating. Thank you. I know this is supposed to be a holiday for you, but you will try your best, won't you, dear? I can't bear to lose the stables. Don't worry. I'll get onto it right away. You may want to visit Frank Foster down at the mine. He was a friend of my Jack's. Okay. Bye, dear. Um, and some text that is too small to read. Okay, that's great. <sighs> I didn't expect it to be right there as I walked outside. Oh, wow. And it's a nice, beautiful, sunny day. Look at that. Okay. It's... Hello there, lass. Just a quick hello. I can't stop, you see. Got post to deliver. Cheerio! No, oh, my name's Arthur, by the way. Okay. Bye. Okay. Um. So I might feed the horse real quick. Ugh. Okay. Um. So I've also been doing like. A little bit of grinding. Is it grinding if it's just getting points? I don't know. I've been getting a couple of points off screen last episode. Um, up to 203 at the moment. Not that you're able to see because my goddamn face cam is in the way. Um, put the map back up. That reminds me. Um, but yeah, so ooh, the plot thickens. Um, so we obviously now 253. So we're obviously going to have to go and find some gold to try and save the stables. Um, so I mean, God forbid we have a holiday. It's not like we wanted a holiday or anything. Okay, so we've got to go down to the mine. Oh, my nose is so itchy. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we'll go to our super, super slow mouse. We'll also be doing a little bit of Googling and I just can't find a solution to fixing that mouse thing. Kind of really sucks. Oh, come on. Oh. Oh my god, no. Oh, there we go. Okay. Oh dear. Okay. So go to the mine. There is also a glitch. Um, Hello, Frank? Hmm. Ah, what do you want? Another nosy Parker, eh? Come to steal me gold, have you? No. I just came to say hello. Oh. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Now, uh, hey, um, what did you say your name was? It's Lisa. Oh. 
Good for you. Nice name, for what it's worth. I'm Frank. Oh, but I told you that already, though, didn't I? No. What? Oh. Oh, well, I can be a bit forgetful sometimes. What are you mining for? What? Oh, um, gold and, um, and other things. But uh, you best keep away from the mine. It's no place for a young person like yourself. It's too dangerous. Okay, but I just wanted to talk to you about something. Oh, I? I'm staying with Agnes Southard. Never heard of her. She said I should say hello to you. Did she? Well, uh, I don't know who she is. Jack Southard's wife. Don't you remember Jack? Of course I remember Jack. How could I not remember Jack? I'm sorry. I didn't mean... Eh, hey, it's not your fault, lass. So, uh, what did Agnes have to say? She gave me some pages from Jack's journal. Did some sort of accident happen in the mine? I don't want to talk about it. If you want to know all about that, then read the damn paper. They couldn't get enough of it at the time. <laughs> Go to the library and read it for yourself. There's something else. In his diary, Jack mentions something about gold. Do you know anything about it? Uh, no idea. I've been trying to forget about those days. Too many bad memories. And you'd do well to do the same. There's no down here, or anywhere for that matter. So clear off now. This place is nothing but trouble. But Frank... <laughs> Turns his back on me. What an old grump. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, there is a saving glitch. I think it's day three. Um, so I won't have to worry about that until after this episode. But I have to save at a certain spot and then I can't quit in a certain different spot. Or else it makes me replay the entire section again. Um, which I don't particularly want to do. Um, I mean, I can, but... Where are we going? 11. Yeah, so that kind of sucks. And I think there's actually another glitch a little later in the game. That actually screws you around completely, and I don't think you can actually finish the game. That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks indeed, but oh well. So go down to Oldthorpe Manor. And oh, those tiles are a bit much. Hello. Ah, oh, hello. You must be Lisa. That's right. I'm Lady Althorpe. I live here, at the manor. Nice to meet you. I give riding lessons to all the children on the island, and run the library here. You can come by any time. Thanks, Lady Althorpe. Please, Please, call me Jane. Okay, Jane. I was just wondering if you had any old papers about the mine accident. I think it was a long time ago. Oh, yes. What a terrible thing. I still don't think the island ever got over it. I wasn't alive at the time, but I remember my mother talking about it. Here you go. This came out the day after it happened. She just has it behind her back. I knew you were Thanks. coming, Lisa. Um, mine accident crushes village. Two local miners. Something killed and one injured in an accident at... The gold dust mines, the accident occurred when something. Something happened at the mines and something killed something. Okay. Um, and then the poem, not the poem, that's not a poem. Oh dear. The riddle um, in the middle there. Uh, my trusty lamp lights the way, yet my hands are free to work all day. Where I lay my lamp each night shall head the way to your delight. Hmm, I guess I'll have to solve this first clue. Maybe I can get some help from someone. Okay. 
Um, so we've got to go back. Whoops. Walks at Arthur, I think. Arthur in the village. Our trusty police officer. And trust postman. Because sometimes you just need both things done at once. What happens if they need both things done at once? Oh man. No mail will get done for like ages. It's like Australia Post. Mmm, shots fired. Let's run through the mud. Hello, hello, hello. Who do we have here then? I'm Just Lisa. Met me. I'm here for a holiday. I'm staying at the Willowbrook Stables. Constable Ball, at your service, ma'am. Oh, haven't we already met? Uh, let me see. Uh, no, I, I don't seem to recall. It's like five minutes ago. <laughs> the postman? Oh, yes, of course. You don't need to send a letter, do you? I'm so uncomfortable. So you have two jobs? That's right. The world needs its mail delivered and its mailboxes protected. <laughs> <laughs> okay, bye then. Right you are. Carry on then. Hello, Arthur. I was wondering if you could okay. help me with something. Need a letter posted, do you? Not quite. Here. I almost feel like he's bipolar. All right, let's have a look. He swaps then. between police yeah. and postman. My trusty lamp lights the way, yet my hands are free to work all day. Lamp at night. Delight. Hey, what's this? Some sort of riddle? Yes, I think so. Written by a miner. Well, miners wear a light on their head to keep their hands free to work. Now, if this was an official police investigation, I'd go to a place where a miner would leave his hat when he gets home from work. Thanks, Arthur. No problem. Cheerio. Cheerio. Okay, so I think that means we've got to go. We've got to go back and explore Willowbrook Stables. Um. Would a miner keep his hat? I don't recall seeing anything inside. I actually can't remember where it was. Um, can't. Oh, can I go through this door? Nope. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we'll explore the actual stables then. Um, I don't know why a miner would leave his hat in a stable though. Honestly, wouldn't you just keep it at home? Like in your bedroom or something? Oh, is that is that a thing? Is that a thing? Maybe this is it. Yeah. There's a note inside. This must be the next clue. I'm black as soot, but cannot burn. In the roaring fire, I'm used to turn. 
My friends at work are Anvil and Hammer. Find my place amongst the clamour. That's that's gotta be tongs. Hmm. I'll need to think about this. It's tongs. It's got to be tongs. Oh man, okay. Um wait. Um, I'll go see Brucey Boy. Hopefully. No. No? Bruce? Bruce, I need your tongues! Would Francis know? Bay? No? Okay. Hmm. This... Uh-oh. <gasps> oh my god. Um... I wonder if Cynthia knows. I think two people are meant to know. Hi, Cynthia. Ooh. How's things? Just fine until that awful man came in. What awful man? That Bartholomew Fox, the property developer. He's the one that wants to buy Agnes's stables. He comes in here with all his fancy city talk, telling me how great it will be when the stables are torn down. He's not from the island, then? Definitely not. No one here would do anything like that. Don't worry. Agnes and I have a plan. Hey, could you help me with this riddle? Sorry, love. I haven't got my thinking cap on. Maybe another time. Okay. Um, so I'm pretty sure there are two people you're able to talk to. One knows, and one is a useless piece of shit like Cynthia just was. Um, oh, I hope it wasn't April that's meant to know. Like, I, I should have checked while I was down there. See if Julia knows. Maybe it's like a veterinary thing. Hi, Julie. Could you help me with a riddle? Sure, what is it? Hmm, I'm black as soot but cannot burn. In the roaring fire I'm used to turn. My friends at work are anvil and hammer. Find my place amongst the clamour. Any ideas? Tongs. Well, I know Bruce has an anvil and hammer in his workshop in the village, and he certainly makes a lot of noise. He gives the animals a bit of a fright when he's hammering away. Oh. Thanks. I'll go see him. Bye then. Oh, we we just went to see him though. Now you're in the workshop. Jesus Christ. Stupid people in my game. Hi, Bruce. Get out. Hey. What brings you here then? I was wondering what other tools you use with the anvil and hammer. Thinking of a career as a smithy, eh, sport? Well, there's a few things. Tongs, bellows, and a stack of different hammers. <laughs> what about in the actual fire? Well, there's these beauties here. Got myself a new set of tongs. Look at them. <laughs> Look. Hmm. You don't have any old ones, do you? Well, there's a pile of them over on that bench. Can't be a gander. So Australian. <gasps> oh. Thanks. Wow, these ones look ancient. They were here when I took over from old Clary. Oh, I never had the heart to throw them out. And there's another note. Left and right and left once more, ending up where you were before. In the center you will find a leafy clue of a different kind. Huh? I've never noticed that before. Thanks, Bruce. You've been a big help. No probs. See you later, kiddo. He's so true, Blue. Oh, fair income. 
Um. I think we're actually meant to talk to Wilfred, who is the one who's just running away. Wilfred. Wilfred. Wilfred! I'll cut him off. Yeah, bitch. Hello, Wilfred. How was that? Hello there, lass. Could you help me with the riddle, please? Nah. Certainly. You know, I used to run about solving riddles when I was young. Oh, he's so cute. Let's see, then. Left and right and left once more, ending up where you were before. <laughs> Sounds like my driving, although there aren't that many roads here. In the center, you will find a leafy clue of a different kind. Could be a tree in a field. But there's so many. <laughs> Wait a minute, I know. Left and right and left once more, ending up where you were before. That sounds like getting lost somewhere. Like me in now, everyday life. I've been on this island almost all my life, and the only place I still get lost is in the maze. So I'm looking for a tree in a maze? That's my bet. Thanks, Wilfred. Not a problem. Give my regards to Cynthia if you see her. Bye now. We won't. Because we don't want you to be together. Um, I'm getting spammed with Snapchats. Holy shit. Now, the maze is actually back at the manor where we just came from. Turn. Where we just came from. So, run back down there. There's a lot of back and forth in this. And if I remember correctly, I suck in the maze. I really, really suck in the maze. And I printed out instructions when I was a kid. And I couldn't even follow the instructions correctly to get around the maze. Oh, it's ridiculous. This takes forever. I'm so sorry. Um, I will take the map off as well, just so I can get a little bit of a better judge on where I'm meant to go. Uh, um. Oh, no. Um, butterflies, though. Oh, my God, you're shitting me. Must be the tree Wilfred oh. was talking about. There's something here too. I lie at rest, but not alone. Speaking with this head of stone. To hear my words, use your eyes. This will lead you to my prize. Okay. Awesome. Hmm. This is getting harder. I wish the saddle club was here to help. Nice. Okay, we're just patting our horse. Um, I think this also marks the end of another day as well. Um, OK, 
Come on. There we go. I'm pretty sure it marks the end of another day. Just triple check. Because it doesn't really... Cult from April or Derek. Um, yeah, I do have to do that tomorrow. Okay, so I will just in terms of keeping it an episode a day or a day an episode, I will leave this episode here. Um, I'll probably film the next one straight away just because that was a really short sitting I think it was only about 20 minutes 25 minutes judging by what I've been recording on my other screen um so yeah thank you guys so much for watching it I hope you're enjoying the series so far hit like hit subscribe just do what you guys need to do just keep it going keep it real and I'll see you all next time bye guys <laughs> Oh,